today I got a I'm gonna build a new set of dogs for this saw these are sticking down about two and a quarter inches and it just this saw has got so much power that when you dig in with them it just buries that bar and stops the chain so and then Clint's over here we're gonna he's welding on his trailer getting some hooks put on it so we can haul wood with it too and got some built some stakes for his trailer to hold some wood on but I do have something interesting. This is our tractor tire. He got it cleaned up. Got all the foam out of it. Cut off of it. But I wanted to show you something interesting here. So here's the tire. I got it cut off the saws all. Um, but something interesting. I mean, we put three cans of foam in that. And if you had just squirted three cans of foam out on the trailer or out on the ground, I mean, it would have made a mound huge mound of foam this thing's empty and like if you can see in there there's no foam in that <laughs> yeah I mean. but the foam that is in there is hard as a rock so I don't know if it just didn't activate it didn't swell up in there for some reason I don't understand we're not quite sure what happened there but, as an alternative to buying a new tire, if you were able to get the foam in there and get it to expand, it would work. I mean, that stuff is, that stuff is rock hard in there. I wonder if it didn't activate because it didn't have air. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we could have, So if, 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 if we'd have aired it up, I don't know. I, I don't know either. If anybody's got any theories on that, Drop it in the comments. So anyway, we're gonna get busy here. We're gonna try and go up and get a little logs this afternoon. So I'll, uh, I'll show you how we're gonna build these dogs here in a few minutes. We'll be right back. All right, so what we got here, actually I'm missing bolt, not bad. So anyway, what we got here, I'm gonna, I marked where the bottom of my chain is on this set of dogs. So I can match up my new set um, what I'm going to do, Clinton has a good set of dogs on his saw that are not down near as far. I mean, that's, I think I measured it the other day. It was two and a quarter inches from the bottom of my bar. And his dogs are an inch and a quarter down, so I'm going to try those. And uh, we may do a test run on both sets on a log this afternoon and kind of show you what the difference is. Um, but anyway, so what I'll do is I'll mark his dogs where the bottom of the bar is. And that way I can match up all my holes and everything. And uh, get a new set built. So we'll go ahead and get these taken off my saw, get his taken off of his, build a pattern, and get her cut out. We'll be back in a minute. difference in our dogs is I got our marks lined up about the same. These are on his 372. There's about an inch difference between those two bottom dogs there. So I'm going to build a set that come down off the bar about that far, about an inch and a quarter, somewhere near an inch and a half. So we'll get these traced out, get some holes figured out, and I'll bring you back here in a minute. Alright, so what I did here, I took these shorter dogs and traced out the teeth. Kind of got an idea where they want the teeth to be. And uh, made a mark here to line up where the bottom of the chain is, right there. Then I took my dogs and overlaid it, lined up that mark on the bottom of the chain, where the bottom of the chain is. And then just traced around where my screw attachments are. And uh, I'll probably extend this out a little bit, leave it a little wide until we do the final fit, make sure I get that hole in the right space after we make this bend here. So, yeah, once I got this one marked on there, I just went around and smoothed out my corners where everything's going to be. So we'll cut this one out, 
and uh, do the same thing on the inside dog. This is the outside set. Get to grinding on them and Scott knows where the 616 is, but get them dialed in.
I buy them on at, uh, at bomb guards yeah. when they go on sale. Right. They go on sale pretty regularly for like oh. 99 cents a piece. Oh, really?
Now these are just cold rolled steel, so I mean, if they work out good, we'll uh, build some out of hardened steel and temper them back. But. <clears throat> I'm a little off there if you can see one side to the other, but you know it's it's a start. And uh, we'll see how they work. And uh, if I like them, I'll build another set out of hardened steel. So. Well, that's got a set of dogs built. So, uh, just want to say thanks to everybody that's been subscribing and commenting. I really like it. I really appreciate it. I really do. So, hope everybody's having a great day. And uh, we're going to go to work. Put these dogs to work. We'll see how they work. And maybe do a test between these and the other ones and see what the difference is on something big. That's about the only time to really dog out, bind up, lock the chain up. But anyway, be kind. Make somebody smile. All it takes is a wink and a nod. Flash somebody a little smile somewhere. Just make them make their day. So we'll see you on the next one. 307 out.